As always at the Guild, we're extraordinarily busy. The shop is absolutely crammed full of vehicles, and of course everybody wants their vehicle as soon as we can get them finished. When you look around, it is pretty amazing. The variety of cars we have here is everything from muscle cars to like really unusual French cars and classics and you know, a little bit of everything. So, you know, let me just walk you around the shop and show you what we're doing. So here's a couple of beautiful old girls from the early 50s. 53 Packer. Packer, we've been doing a lot of work and maintenance on her for the last few years. Uh, it's just in sort of for some spring work and some catch up and just getting ready for a summer's worth of driving. This is a great car. I mean, when the top is down on these things, just they're so much fun to drive. And what else can you say? Lots of chrome, beautiful color, no roof. It's a great car. This is a 51 Lincoln Cosmopolitan. It's been here for quite some time. Literally, Parts are a real problem for these cars these days. We're running into this more and more and more. Uh, with this, it was uh, the window motors weren't working. We've ordered them, uh, they've come in, they've been wrong, we've ordered again. I mean, it just gets to the point of being ridiculous. Right now, I'm thinking that what we have to do is just dismantle all the original motors and then see if we can rebuild them ourselves because I mean, we're just running out of options here. That's true for a lot of the 1950s stuff. Some projects, when they come in, well, they're just so cool. This is actually the second fire truck we've done for the same uh, fire company. And uh, we did a 1925 International for them a couple of years ago, which was fully documented. Not that this is a restoration. Um, basically, it came in, we needed to break work. You know, a lot of mechanical stuff, there are some wiring deficiencies and things like that. So really what we're doing is we're getting it ready for parade season. They want to be able to drive it safely and, and reliably uh, in parades at low speeds. So, you know, we're not too concerned with the appearance. I mean, it's a fire truck and it's original, so it really doesn't need restoring at this point. But great old project, for sure. This is a uh, 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome. Pretty special car. Cadillac basically did a dream car, like a car of the future, and people liked it so much that they decided to put it into limited production. You know, really interesting suicide style doors. Very little in the middle. You know, just the, uh, the lock pillar there. Now, this sort of looks stock, and it sort of isn't stock. It's actually a full blown custom. When it came in, we basically had the outside of the car on the roof. We didn't have anything down the middle. There was no floors, uh, and it was just a mess. The, the frame was rotten, virtually no interior. So we set about doing literally a resto mod. It's got a modern engine in it, a high performance engine, a custom interior, you know, and if you look, these came with bench seats. Well, these aren't bench seats, but they look like the bench seats. We actually fabricated entire seat frames in the whole bit and made seats that looked like they would have been a bench, except they're buckets. It's in here for spring tune-ups, little odds and ends that we needed to get to for the owner to enjoy spring driving, and uh, for a couple of upgrades. Like, he really decided that seatbelts might be a good idea, and I don't disagree with him. Other side of the shop, we have a couple of old girls from the 50s. Well, here, we got a couple of old girls from the 40s and 30s. This is a 38 Dodge, and right in front of it is a 1944. 44 has got to be one of the most elegant front ends of any car from the 30s and 40s. I mean, it's always been a favorite of mine. When I was a kid, I built model kits of like this car. And of course, they were heavily customized in the 50s and 60s. So, you know, it's sort of a classic look. Especially this one, it's a resto mod. It's not stock. It's got, you know, modern driveline, that kind of thing in it. So it's a little more usable than it would be if it was like bone stock original. And basically, it's in here just for like spring tune-up, make sure it's ready for the driving season. This is a, a 1970 Citroen. DS, Citroën's French car company, and they were famous for rather eccentric car designs. And they've been making cars for a long time, you know, 20s, 30s, uh, 40s. You know, this is a, a 1970, and it, it still doesn't look dated because it's the kind of car where you really can't put a date on it when you look at it because it's just so significantly different from anything else that was being designed. And that's sort of always been a hallmark of Citroën up until modern times. You know, modern Citroëns, you see them in France, you don't know what they are, they don't look that different from anything else. But boy, once you knew this was a Citroën, you always knew it was a Citroën. Funnily enough, I mean, we've got this DS in here and we've done a lot of work on it, the hydraulic suspension system, which is very complex in these. And, you know, a lot of uh, tune-up and, and that kind of thing. Not many people want to work on them. An even more important Citroën than this, the follow-on to the DS was the Citroën SM. SM basically was a Citroën with a Maserati engine in it. We've got one of those in for a absolutely complete restoration. I won't say off-frame because it really doesn't have a frame. You know, we're taking it right down to the all its nuts and bolts and going through the entire thing. It's actually come to us from another shop that I think was probably, uh, 
I think they were a little too nervous to get involved. I mean, they probably thought it was a great idea until they came in. They started to learn a little bit about it. These are not easy cars, and the SM is an extraordinarily difficult car to restore. The one we've got is in pretty good shape. It needs a few floor pans and everything, but you know, when you start to look at the history of the cars and the engineering of these cars, you start to realize that it's not like restoring anything else. Not a lot of places want to take a go at it, but yeah, we're game. Each year brings us more of specific sorts of muscle cars. And this year it's been a Mustang. Got this lovely Mach 1 here. Came to us from another shop. It was being resto modded and they made quite a few pretty massive mistakes on it. It's nice to just order parts, but sometimes when you just order parts and you go to put them together, it doesn't work. We're running into a lot of that uh, with this car. And that's why it's here. You know, we're problem solving with it. Hopefully it won't take too long to get the gentleman on the road with the car that he had hoped for a long time ago. Kind of like this. This one comes in for servicing quite often. We're doing spring service on it, and we've done quite a bit of work on it. But this is the real deal. This is a real Shelby GT500. You do see a lot of these around. You don't see a lot of real ones in fact, To have one that's not a clone uh, in the shop is sort of special. I've always liked these. I love this one. And it's just a great car. The, the only thing not great about them is trying to work on the engine, especially when they got air in them because boy oh boy it's tight in there. <laughs> one of the most satisfying things about this job is you know you get something like a Citroen Maserati and you take it apart to the point where it really doesn't resemble a car anymore. Well this was in a, a similar kind of condition. This one was pretty much in baskets when it arrived. Well, it's taken a long time, and unfortunately, the owner passed away before it was finished, so now the family is finishing it out. Magnificent car. You know, these E-types are one of my favorites. I've had a couple in my lifetime. I sort of wish I still had a nice E-type coupe, and I'd actually like this one, and it's just special. Interior was done. The engine's completely done. I mean, this is a complete frame-off restoration. We're waiting for a bit of trim for the doors now, and a spray-in around the front uh, headlight. Once that's done, man, she's ready for road testing. And I might be the one doing the road testing on this one. Oh, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned because there's going to be lots more coming up. Lots going on this summer and we intend to show you an awful lot. Plus, you know, I'm going to get into things that most people don't talk about. The problems people have with cars, some of the issues that we face as a restoration company. You know, it's not just going to be the problems the cars give us. Maybe we'll develop some of the problems that the customers give us. So now that you've had a look around the shop, you can see the kind of projects we're working on. If there's something that really piques your interest, you'd like to see more of it, well, drop us a line. We look forward to hearing from you, and thanks for watching.